Hi again, everybody. Steve Carlson at Clemens Boats in Sandusky, Ohio. Great Lakes dealer for Albemarle. Want to spend a few minutes showing you the um, 27 Express 2018 recent trade in. I'm um, doing several short videos here. Uh, this one's going to focus on some of the storage and uh, fish box capacity on this boat. So, looking into the boat here, standing out in the bracket, we've got the two in deck fish boxes. The um, owner had this liner made in the starboard one. Uh, he wasn't using that one for fish, he was using that for storage. Just wanted things to stay nice and tidy in there. Uh, the one on the port side here. Right now we've got four fenders in there. Give you a little bit of idea on the size on that. And then transom box here. Um, oh, a couple of walleye boards in there. This one is a uh, fish box. Drains overboard. On the other side here, we do have plumbed as a live well. Uh, in here now, I've got uh, some charcoal tweed umbrella uh, canvas, a couple things there. We've got an aft cover that comes from the back of the hard top all the way back. So you can see the snap line running here. Keep things nice and clean. Also, I've got individual sunbrella covers for those aft facing seats and the backrest to keep things clean when you are out fishing. Uh, a couple extra rod holders added on this boat off the transom. And then another in deck one, another one in the gunnel, and then um, that is a base plate for Cisco Fishing Systems rod holder. Uh, that can come off if somebody does not need that or want that. Walk forward here and show you one of the most unique features on this boat. Under the helm deck, you've got a very large storage space, runs almost the width of the boat. And up front there, what you're looking at are the electronics and the hydraulics for the Optimus 360 steering system. So this boat actually features the full Optimus 360 system, the joystick, the autopilot, the Seaways uh, system, and the virtual anchor. Um, in here, these are some movable uh, rod holders that we had Albemarle make. Um, Rods broken down, uh, stored 14 in here across the side, but those can come out of there. This compartment is about 16 inches deep, about four foot from front to back. And then um, we also, another custom thing we did was the uh, C-deck lining just to keep things from sliding around and banging around in there. Um, just lots of little nice touches on this boat. You've got a breaker panel here for some items. Uh, I mentioned in the other video we did have the Armstrong dive ladder so that's in there. Um, I'll put this down for the next video but a little bit of more storage under this mezzanine style seat here. Got the shore power cord. Again we've got the sea deck lining in there. As I mentioned I do have a uh, sunbrella covers for this seat and the seat back on both sides. Um, oh, the uh, Wet Sounds uh, speakers, and that is a Wet Sounds amp. So some upgrades there to the sound system. The boat does feature a fold-out uh, transom seat as well. I'll get that here in just a second. So get that out of your way. Okay, next video, I'll get up on the uh, helm deck itself. Do have the powder coating. Again, a Cisco planer reel that uh, can come off of there if somebody's not looking for that.